I'm Emily. Welcome to Storytime in the Galleries at Home. Today, we're reading Through Georgia's Eyes with permission from Macmillan Publishing Group. This book is about artist Georgia O'Keeffe. Before we begin, let's head into the galleries and take a look at one of her paintings. This painting is called Poppies. It's named for the type of flower depicted. O'Keeffe made many paintings of flowers and of other natural subject matter too, such as leaves, bones, and landscapes. She often took something tiny and painted it larger than life. Why did she do this? These words from the artist give us a clue. Nobody sees a flower, really. It is so small. We haven't the time, and to see takes time, like to have a friend takes time. When you take a flower in your hand and really look at it, it's your world for the moment. I want to give that world to someone else. Now, on to the story. Through George's Eyes by Rachel Rodriguez, illustrated by Julie Poshkis. Georgia's first memory. She will always remember these colors and the brightness of light, light all around. Look, here's the artist as a baby. Soon, Georgia runs and plays games with her brothers and sisters. Her father gives her sweets and plays Irish tunes. Her mother reads stories and cares for the younger children. Everyone works hard on the farm. Georgia roams the prairie. The trees and land keep her company. Pencil and sketch pad comfort her. She discovers she likes to be alone. Seasons melt into seasons on her family's farm. Georgia struggles to show on paper what she sees. Here she is with her sketchbook and pencils. It's always nice to keep a sketchbook handy. At 12, she takes painting lessons. She tells her friend, I am going to be an artist. But in 1899, only boys become artists. A girl wishing to become one is scandalous. Georgia sees life differently. She paints and paints. Hours pass without notice. She wonders if she can achieve her dream. Here she is, hard at work. She walks around a lake and hikes into the woods. Everywhere she looks, shapes hum and sing to her. At art school, brushes and canvas become her language. Paint speaks for her. Watercolor and oil are her words. For a time, Georgia lives in the city. She walks through canyons of concrete. She misses the outdoor world. The sun steals a bite from a skyscraper. The faraway place, open sky and land calls her. We can see this light reflecting off the building. The wideness and wonder of the world amaze Georgia. She wants to share this magic with others. Flowers delight her. She paints them as giants. People stop to stare. Georgia's flowers make them feel like tiny butterflies flitting through the universe of her garden. Butterfly people. She moves to Ghost Ranch in New Mexico. Red hills, cliffs, silence, and the far away surround her. In the desert, she discovers extraordinary things, skulls. The bones don't frighten Georgia. To her, they are alive and strong. Their beauty astounds her. Here 
she is with a skull she found. Georgia expresses feelings in her own way. Words work, but for her, the color blue says it better. Or red, or a seashell, a pale bone, sunset. The trees and hills whisper their secrets. They are friends, always there for her. A canyon calls her. From the bottom at dusk, she sees a long line of cows above, black lace against a dusky sky. Here are the cows on the horizon. And here's Georgia drawing them. She hikes at dawn. She climbs a ridge. The land enchants her. A range of hills is a mile of elephants with white sand at their feet. Sometimes her chow chow tags along. He hops around rocks and chases antelope. They float ahead of her yelping dog. Georgia follows them. She breathes in the dawn. A sea of sage covers the plain before a mountain like waves lapping against a shore. Here's her little dog, the antelope. And this picture looks like Georgia has a walking stick. Sometimes she climbs a ladder to her roof. The moon rises above beneath a giant canvas of inky night and silvery stars, Georgia dreams. Even now, Georgia can show you the world as she sees it. Open your eyes and walk along. See the colors? Hear the shapes singing? No need to hurry. Lean in. Look closer. Closer still. There, in the wideness and wonder of the world. Let's make a drawing inspired by the drawings and paintings of Georgia O'Keeffe. You'll need paper, pencil, and a flower or a leaf. Start by staring at it for a minute. Look at the overall form and all the small details. Now, let's draw it. Fill your page with a simple sketch of the flower. You can even let your flower break the edge of the paper. Turn back to the flower. Which details are most important? You decide. I'm including some details and leaving others out. Finish your artwork with big areas of color. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.